Good morning, Tunip. <laughs> Nothing like a nice cup of cocoa to start the day. Oh, no cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> We've never run out of cocoa before. It's just cocoa. It's not like it's a global emergency. Professor Nut Creek to Octopod. I'm out of cocoa in the Antarctic and need more. Click, click. Hello, Professor. Unfortunately, we've run out of cocoa as well. We'll have to... Ranger Marsh here. Anyone else out of cocoa? This is Tracker. Sorry to bother you, but I'm out of cocoa. Hmm. Maybe it is a bit of a global emergency. <laughs> Thanks for the update, Octo Agents. We'll uh, look into this right away. Barnacle's out. Oh dear. In the meantime, we'll just have to find something else to drink. Would anyone care for a spot of my herbal seaweed tea? Uh, oh, um, uh, uh, no. that's not all right. But... Oh, more for me then. <laughs> Tunip, are you sure there's no cocoa in the. <laughs> to launch. No. I wonder who's driving. Any idea where the vegetables were heading in such a hurry? Ah, they must be heading to the Amazon to get more cocoa. The Amazon? Shiver me whiskers. I thought cocoa just comes from the cocoa machine. Usually. Actually, Quasi, cocoa comes from a tree. The cocoa tree grows pods full of cocoa seeds, which are roasted and ground up to make delicious cocoa. It grows in warm places like the Amazon, where the vegetables are headed right now. Welcome back to the Amazon, Tunip. Guess you forgot about all these holes we armadillos dig. <laughs> yep, we dig new holes every night and sleep in them during the day because we're uh, nocturnal. <laughs> it's a good thing you're here. Your cocoa trees haven't been doing too well in this heat. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I have to get back to sleep. <laughs> to the Octoray. Wow, look at that! I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! <laughs> <laughs> 